unions have a very use, very useful um, uh, purpose, definitely. And, I'm, and I have been quoted saying, you can't fall into the trap as a CEO of wishing them away. And so you, you for those that don't accept it, I, I would recommend them to find a way to accept that, you know, unions can play a role yes. mm-hmm. and they are, you know, they are there for a purpose to represent the greater good of, of the employee base. Uh, I, I do think a lot of the original reasons for unions starting have now been legislated away. So a lot of it is, you know, law, but there's still a representative voice there and a collective approach that works well for, for the employees. So my view is you can't wish them away. You've got to engage with them. 90% of the time, if you said what's important to you and what's important to us is actually quite an alignment. You know, we'd like a great culture where people are treated well, they're safe when they turn up to work. And if you sit down and have that discussion with the unions, what is really important to you here? There's a lot of commonality. What I've done in the past is then say, so here's where we don't agree. And here's where I don't think we ever will. And I respect that you're going to go hard that way. And you need to respect that I'm going to go hard that way. And there's processes if we can't find a middle ground that we have to engage in that are there for that very reason. And that's, you know, arbitration or mediation. Um, You know, they can take legally take strike action. I can legally respond as a CEO. Let's just be alive to all of that playing out but that's in the 10% space. So once all that's done and dusted, we come to an agreement, let's get back to the 90 and let's work together. And so, <clears throat> pardon me, one of the things that I, I have learned through all of the companies that I've run is that you cannot keep everybody happy. And customers want to be happy. Shareholders want to be happy. Your people want to be happy. So I simplify the purpose of the companies I run to say my purpose is happy people, happy customers, happy shareholders but they can't all be blissfully happy all the time. So my job is to keep them mostly happy most of the time, because if you don't, the equilibrium is killed. Mm. You lose the balance and it's, and I can say this, you know, with um, Virgin, uh, frankly, very happy people, very happy customers, very unhappy shareholders. And so if you lose the balance, you know, there is the extreme consequence as well, but it's very important. So we use that a lot actually in our union negotiations. Look, we are very focused on making sure our people are happy, but to a limit, and there's a reason for it. And the other part of that equation is that we talk about financial strength as a priority pillar with our, within our organisations. And I've taken this from company to company. I don't talk about profit. Profit gets demonised by unions. And we try to explain why it's important that we are financially strong at what we do. 